Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. And in the last one, we still had some naval skirmishes. We had some failed naval invasions because they weren't set up correctly. And before I started, I went and set all of the naval invasions up for these islands here that we tried to get last time. So hopefully they're set up correct now. We have one of each marine division hitting each island. And hopefully we will be able to get them in quick succession. And I moved the planes that were down here to give support to the invasion. And over here we're just going to hold the uh, Japanese at bay and I think once we wrap up things here in the Bismarck Sea we'll split our naval forces and then in Europe we have this call to arms because um, the UK just declared war on Vichy France not sure if I just cancelled it or not. Um, looks like we're at war with them. And I also, since we're having trouble with chromium, I went ahead and did all of these chromium mine mines for so in 60 days we should have a lot. And we have our war plan orange if we need to. And for our focus. Let's get the Pentagon building real quick. And then we will go ahead and let the game run at three speed. And wait until this invasion is ready. As far as the Navy goes, I think things are starting to calm down. There's a carrier force right here. We've sinking more convoys. It says there's a dangerous naval invasion here. I think we have enough ships though in the area to deter that. Also says there's one somewhere here in New Guinea. But we should be okay. Oh yeah, and I've been getting air doctrines off camera before I record each uh, episode. So this is what it looks like right now. We're going down the strategic destruction. And we'll go ahead and get this last one here. And we got this. So I think for naval stuff, we're probably okay. I'll go ahead and get this though and spend the experience that we have. And over here in Europe, these guys here all need to move to England. And then when they get to England, they're going to link up with the with this force here. And they will be preparing a naval invasion to Casablanca. Well, maybe not. But somewhere in the Casablanca area. And we'll try. We may be able to station planes here in Gibraltar. Doesn't look like they have an airport though. See if there's any airfields down here. Yeah, there's one way up here in Senegal. It's probably not great to launch from. So what we may need to do for this is bring our Atlantic escorts over with the um, Ranger carrier and see if we can give some sort of support to them. They only have naval bombers and fighters though, so not likely. I'm 
wonder if we... Oh, there is an air airfield in Gibraltar. I missed that entirely. All right. I'll just put a couple air wings in here then. So, get a squad of P-47 since they have longer range. And I would like some close air support of some sort that has long range, but doesn't look like we have any extras. So we'll just take these older models. It's better than nothing. And create an air group here. And we'll go ahead and get them started by uh, flying over here. Let's see what battles we have going on. Oh, big naval battle here. We sunk another carrier. That's fantastic. Sunk two carriers. No, that was a heavy cruiser. Nice. So we sunk a two heavy cruisers and a carrier bunch of destroyers. It's a great battle there. For us at least. Let's see if these invasions here are ready to launch yet. I don't remember which one is the planning bonuses. There they are. They're at 40% right now. And the commander thinks that they can win right now if we go. Let's try it and see. I believe this island here has a, at least one infantry division on it. And there's clearly ships here. Okay, we have our escorts. That's good. Looks like we got all of the islands. So I think we'll go ahead and stop that invasion there. I think we can delete them. So now we will let the Navy take care of the rest of that and plan an, an invasion here into the rest of the Caroline Islands with just the marines since the um, others are tied up in the Dutch East Indies. So if we set this as the invasion source, can we do that for all the invasions like that? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we want that. And then maybe you just have to, I guess, do it individually by division. There's got to be a easier way to do that. Oh well. So we'll sign those guys there. And those guys there. And that looks like one division per island. So we'll let them get in position. Yeah, nice. We sunk a battleship also, and it we wow we sunk 
two car uh, carriers. So, if I'm reading that correctly, we sunk three carriers, plus a battleship, and all the other destroyers and heavy cruisers. Wow, that's impressive. Alright, so all these guys get in position. Let's see how things are going over here. Looks like everyone is just about landed. And we have some military factories. I'm trying to build the Air Force up because we're pretty low on planes right now. So let's put... Trying, trying to get the 10 factories on all the primary planes that we're using. Let's get some more close air support and P-47s. And that should be okay for now. And then these guys here that just arrived. We're gonna take Eisenhower. Let's see how things are doing here. Looks like the British are moving up already, so never mind. Let's take just these guys. We'll we will take Eisenhower and give him a front line. But we're not going to assign all of these divisions to this. Just these guys. I did that incorrectly. Do we just want these guys? There we go. So now we'll just have Army Group 1 right here. Or Army 4, I mean. And we'll let them get moving. And we will give them a front line to here for now. And then they'll push up to Algiers. And see if these guys are moving on their own or if I need to tell them to go. Yeah, it looks like we have to tell them. Alright. So, can we just land here? And it has to go to a naval base. Alright, maybe we should naval invade then. If they're not going to be able to take Casablanca. Perhaps we should try the floating harbor. Alright, so let's naval invade from here. And we'll go there. And launch another one from the same place. And we'll go here, and then up here, we will just split the divisions half and half. Oops. Half can go there, and half can go to that side. And then we'll get Casablanca, hopefully, from two sides with the Mulberry Harbors. Let me read again what those things do. It doesn't say, maybe it says up here. Alright, we'll figure it out. I know it gives supply without a dockyard, so... We'll just have to see. Um, let's get this last uh, rubber refining uh, research also. It's only 100 days. Why are these guys having trouble finding path? Uh, 
I should have no trouble finding an invasion path here. Whoops. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll let that planning bonus build up for a few minutes. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like a whole lot. Let's go ahead and launch this invasion. It doesn't look like the Japanese are moving at all. I thought that I had uh, had this set up already. All of these guys just got moved now by accident. Alright, so we'll just hold that little choke point right there with the infantry. And we'll just continue to island hop out there. Out here, I mean. Looks like we ran into a small Japanese fleet. Two battleships isn't that small. Sunk a heavy cruiser. Mm, battleships are still trying to get away. Got naval bombers after them. Looks like they're going to get away though. But we did sink a destroyer and a heavy cruiser. And we have some more military factories, so let's get one more on trucks and two more on half trucks. And then say two more on P-47s and the Wildcat fighters for their carriers. Alright, good. Now, we may want to just hold off a little until the uh, naval combat becomes more clear. Let's see if these guys can start an offensive towards here. Damn it, I did it again. And just those 10, and we got the Pentagon now, so that'll help with planning speed. What's the DoD give us? Um, just command power. Alright, that's not a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and get War Plan Black and Silver. Probably go with War Plan Black first. I don't think we'll be fighting Italy just yet. At least not to the point where the War Plan will be necessary. And we'll see how this goes. Um, and over here, let's delete these orders. Maybe we can launch to uh, North Peleliu. Let's see how that works out. And we'll launch another one here. Alright, and how are things going over here? How's our invasion preparations? Uh, looks like they're at 40%, so we'll let that r rise up just a little more. Got our, whoops, 
We got our second recon company. So let's get the second maintenance company now. And planning bonus still at now oh, it's at zero percent with a max of thirty nine. I read that wrong. How come you guys are unable to find a valid path? I guess because we're not. Operating in these C zones would be my guess. So let's enhance, enhance the convoy escorts here and here and see if that fixes it. And for our next research, it may be time to get the P-47. What the... See, it's, it is getting close. I want to get it by mid-1943 if we can. Now let's get this next artillery research first. Yeah, looks like we have some able battles out here. Oh, nice. We got those two battleships. That's awesome. Can we see how much the Japanese have left ship wise? Looks like they have 14 to 18 dockyards on ship production. There we go. So they still have roughly 130 ships or so. Yeah, they still have a lot. How's things going here? Thought I assigned them to that invasion plan. Looks like they all have a good planning bonus though. So let's launch this and see what happens. Um, <laughs> Garrison forces made it over. Well, that's not great. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. So... Oh, wow. You guys are just sailing right next to the coast of Japan. Okay, fantastic. Okay, you all left your garrison, so let's see if we can somehow correct that before something bad happens. These guys are almost where they were heading. They were, they were supposed to all be all the way out here in Hawaii. This is Midway and Johnston. Jeez, what a mess. Uh, you know what? You guys are already halfway here, so might as well. Yeah, they'll figure it out. And we have units to deploy. Let's see if we can deploy these guys in England. I kind of doubt it. But it's worth a shot. Nope. Alright, so we'll just start placing everyone here in Washington so they can transfer over easy. And then, speaking of, we will transfer these guys over. And let's see how this invasion plan's going here. The general says that they can do it, but I don't 
see a planning bonus. Let's just see what happens if they launch. Let's speed it up until they get there. All right, here we go. And hopefully we can get a supply link up somewhere rather quickly. So let's see if we can send two motorized to do that. And then these guys here will um can we see how much supply we have on these harbors one of 15 does it say how long it lasts 23 days okay so we gotta move rather quickly so let's send a ranger both ranger units actually They will head this way and help try to link up while the forces here outside of these two motorized um, attack Casablanca from both directions. We'll wait till some of these guys leave though. Alright, let's go. And we'll try and get a link up right here and cut through to the coast. Maybe. If we can get this place with the dockyard, we'll be okay. Come on, guys, get in there. go down here to Marrakech and I'll send one of these ranger units this way through the through the uh, mountains we have some factories we'll put um, put some more on p38s Get in there to Casablanca. Let the Rangers hold this perimeter and squeeze these guys in. Yeah, we need this guy assisting. There we go, we got it. Alright, so you guys can halt. You guys can also halt. There we go. So we have our foothold now in North Africa. Let's just link up this right here and cut off the supply at the rail network. There we go. And now we can just hold this line. We'll support the British here. Okay, and let's see how things are going in the Pacific real quick. Alright, let's see if we can launch this offensive and how well it actually does. I'm assuming not very well, simply because of terrain, if nothing else. 
and we're, of course, in very low supply. And that's not going to work. Just halt. So once the island hopping campaign catches up here, we'll probably just flank here. And since these garrison units decided to come over here, I'll probably take the actual army infantry out. And looks like things with the Navy are doing pretty well. We got our researches. Let's get the next level of excavation with that one. And then let's come over here and get the next infantry upgrade, not the actual rifle upgrade though. At least not yet. And... Oh, I missed this. Japanese here have invaded Borneo. That's just not good. Let's get the army over there. And take whatever railway you can get. Doesn't look like they have any. No, oh, it actually looks like they were retreating. I yeah, want everyone to retreat. Maybe there was combat that I missed. Right, let's go ahead and get War Plan Silver. And with that. I think that'll be all for this one. So when we come back, we'll defend Borneo and we will come over here and push further into North Africa, eventually probably heading up through Italy and then Normandy. It looks like, looks like the British and French had la have landed in Southern uh, France already, so we may have to just scrap that plan entirely depending on how this goes. It looks like they're facing a lot of resistance here. So we'll tackle that in the next one. So I want to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.